Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be traveling back to the year 1996 and exploring Microsoft Flight Simulator for Windows 95. This was donated to me by Hassan in that video where I tried to install a French copy of Windows NT on the 98 PC, which if you missed that, you can check it out here. So that was a pretty fun video to do. And yes, just like everything else in that package, this is a French copy of Microsoft Flight Simulator, and that's going to make it a bit of a challenge to install. We'll see here because once again, I do not speak French or understand French whatsoever. So this will be kind of neat to dive into. What's also really cool is that this is sealed, factory sealed, brand new, never been opened before. And we're going to be opening it up for the very first time since it left the factory in today's video. Before we dive into that, though, I want to give you guys a little brief history about Flight Simulator. Nothing too extravagant because, to be honest, I could do an entire video on the history of Flight Simulator. So the very first version of Microsoft Flight Simulator came out in 1982, but that isn't where the story begins, and well, I'll refer you to what I just said. But just for now, know that version 1.0 was released in 1982. Now, technically speaking, this is version 6.0 of Flight Simulator, but Microsoft chose to adopt the four Windows 95 branding to associate it with their latest release of Windows at that time. We saw the same practice with Office 95. There we go. There we go, guys, breaking the seal. It's always a satisfying feeling to open up new old stock software. So there's the manual right there. And right here, we have, oh, so this is actually Microsoft Games and More DSP5 pack. So it includes more than just Flight Simulator, in fact, this name sounds familiar. Yes, that's why it sounds familiar, because in that video we unboxed the Microsoft Family Reference Pack DSP5 pack. Okay, so this actually just evolved into a far more detailed video, because why not? We're going to take a look at all of this. This will be a pretty long video here. First, though, we have to break that classic Microsoft red seal on the disk case here. So, let's slice into that. Looks like we've got some floppy diskettes, three floppy diskettes in there as well. So yeah, let's pull this stuff out and see what we got. Okay, this is Microsoft Return of Arcade, and these are in English. Microsoft Flight Simulator in French. Monster Truck Madness. Microsoft Picture It version 2.0, also in French. Ah uh, yes, some booklets here. These would normally go in a CD jewel case. All right, so here we are. We've got the 98 PC set up and we're just gonna go right down the list. So we're gonna start with Flight Simulator and work our way down. So let me grab the Flight Simulator CD right here. And naturally it looks like the installation process is gonna be in French here. Oh, and we got sounds too. Oh boy. <laughs> nice. We're just gonna go with the default name and everything here and our product ID, which is located on the back of the case. It'd be neat to know if we can change this to English. So let's see here. Let's go with custom here and just get everything. Okay, so I assume these are gonna be different airports. Okay, so wow, what does this say? Do I use Google Translate or not? This is probably saying something like it's finished and to close installation or restart, we'll say yes. Oh, maybe that was for DirectX 2. Well, we certainly have a video card that can handle this. And this is probably, oh gosh. You know what? I'm gonna look up Google Translate because, okay, the point of this video is not to, it's not really like the NZ4 video to like a whole blind install. I do wanna explore this and check it out. So I'm gonna get out Google Translate here. Oh, it says you must restart Windows to complete setup. So we'll do that. We gotta restart the computer at least once. That's like a rule. What a beautiful sound. It truly never gets old. Norton Antivirus is, of course, a bit out of date here. I've joked about that before. It's like for 3,000 days out of date. Now the question is, do we need to have the CD in the drive to launch the program? Let's find out. 
I'm going to take it out here and we'll see if we need it in here. All right, we got it removed. So we go to programs here, Microsoft games, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh boy, Microsoft. Okay, this looks like it's saying something about 256 colors. You're not using a dumpster. <laughs> That's what Google Translate, it thought it said you're not using a dumpster. Yeah, I'm definitely not using a dumpster, but okay, it just it just corrected itself. You're not using a display driver, 256 color, you'll get best results if you use, uh, we'll say, okay. Okay, now here's my question. I'm going to see if we can change the language immediately, which would be really great. But if not, we're going to have a really fun time navigating this program. <laughs> So let's do this. Oh, here we go. Uh, looks like it's asking for the CD. Is that what that says? Insert the flight simulator CD-ROM. So we do need it for certain components. It would really help if we could change the language, but you know, if you can't, it's not like that's a bad thing because this is a French copy. So it makes sense for it to only be in French. Let's see if we can just do one flight. Like, just get the plane off the ground. Let's see if we can do that. So this is aircraft here, I believe. And... Okay, yeah, so... Okay, so we got a, a Cessna selected. Oh, let's do a 737. And... Oh, boy. I do want to see if we can change the airport. I don't even know what airport we're at. Is this how you change... Oh, is this airport? Yeah, here you go. Okay. So where do we want to go? Let's see. Let's pick an airport in, let's go to New York and let's do, yeah, let's do JFK. Why not? Okay. So we're at JFK. Now here's the thing. I, I forget how you um, do anything here. Okay. So W is to change your views here. It's really dark out. I, I kind of wish this would be in there we go. All right, so it's daytime now. So we're going full throttle forward. There we go. That's not good. Oh no. <laughs> oh, come on, we can do it. Let me press W here so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, uh, we're taking off. We're taking off. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys. We're in the air. Kind of. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible takeoff, though. Oh my gosh. We're still not... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, at least I know how to take off now. That we just completely destroyed the plane. Alright, let's, uh, let's just do that again. Okay, let's just go here. Um, and we'll just, we'll just do the same airport. Okay, this is a different airport. I don't know which one. I, I thought that the default setting would just be the airport that it was. Yeah, this is, no, this is the same airport. Okay. So. We got throttle going. We're going to release the brake. There we go. Yeah, we need to let it get a little, yeah, I just took off too early. That's the problem. You let it wait to get to the end of the runway here and build up enough speed. In fact, I, I think it started to just pull up, like without me doing anything. There we go. I'm actually not even doing anything. I think it's just, well, I, I do have autopilot on. If I turn autopilot off, All right, well, we definitely don't want to do that. We are on our way. Oh my gosh, look, <laughs> look at all the buildings. It just looks like static when you're up here. So let's try to make an emergency landing. That's not an emergency landing. So yeah, that's Fly Simulator, guys. I mean, that's really all I wanted to demonstrate. I, I feel like I should get a little more experience with this program before we... Uh, before we do anything else with it on video here because you know I'm, I'm definitely not super experienced with it 
and the fact that everything is in French makes everything a lot more difficult, but we were able to take off, so that's good. But anyways, let's move on to Monster Truck Madness. So I, I feel like I've played this game before. Maybe not this, but, but this name just sounds familiar to me. I don't know, maybe I'm just making something up, maybe I'm thinking of a different game, but we're gonna pop it in here and see. Now this looks like it's in French as well. So we'll continue. Valued gateway client. Now I assume this is gonna go by the same product ID here. Actually, can we use the... Yeah, we can. Yeah, there's a couple of videos, I'll, I'll link to one of them that explains how that is a valid product key for Windows 95 era applications like Microsoft applications and Windows 95 itself and it's super interesting but yeah and there we go we're installing oh my gosh guys monster truck madness yeah this is not what I was thinking of okay so valued because it just because valued gateway client doesn't fit this is the name here and then difficulty I assume this is like, it's like easy, medium, professional, something like that. Let me grab translate here. Beginner, confirmed, and professional. So we're just gonna go with beginner here. Bigfoot, oh man, who do we wanna be? Um, let's be Grave Digger. I always remember <laughs> Grave Digger. Um, and we'll do, let's do a circuit. And okay, so these are gonna be, I assume these are your opponents. So. Yeah, vehicles in course. So let's just grab a couple more here. And okay. We'll do that circuit. And I guess that's it. Now I have no idea what the controls are. I assume it's going to be. Well, it could be WASD or arrow keys. So, oh, well, that's nice. There was no. <laughs> it just everyone started. Okay, well, it is. It is arrow keys, I think, or is it WASD? No, it's, it's definitely not WASD. Because D is to change the view here. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I didn't want to do that! No! Oh man. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, this is hilarious. Yeah, so D is to change- oh, was that a horn? Can you- Oh my gosh. What? Do, oh, was that it? What? What? Oh, I guess I went off course. I love how that guy just stopped. Yeah, I... Oh, he got off course too. Okay. Oh man, this is... Yeah, this is not the game I was thinking of, but this is still pretty fun. For sure. I love how the sound just cuts out, like, it, it just completely cut out there. I don't know what caused that, but... And then it's back again! What, what place am I in? Let me go back to... So, okay. D is to change views. Can you get like a... Like a third person view? I guess not. Oh, here's some other people. Oh, there they are. Can we, can we pass them up? Oh, come on, Gravedigger. You can do this. Oh, no. That's the end. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was it. Oh no, it's just... Oh yeah, yeah, duh, there's laps, okay. I think that's exactly where I wiped out before, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's why, I didn't hear the audio last time. Like, I just started, and then I just saw the dude on the left pass me. It's because I didn't, I didn't actually hear the audio. Well... <laughs> I just ran that guy off and then, oh no, oh boy, gotta go through the barn here. Or not really a barn, like a bridge that looks like a barn. Oh my gosh.
Oh, I see. That's what that... <laughs> That's what that thing at the top right is. It's telling you where the next checkpoint is that you have to hit. Oh my god! The dude was on two wheels! Yeah, so it's, uh, it's like telling me where three is. Like... Yeah, here's three here. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Beautiful. So I, I just didn't notice that last time. Oh boy. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. I hit, I literally landed on him and it pushed me off. Dang it. Oh, the music stopped. We're gonna try to finish this race. That's the goal. Uh, four, come on. Oh, dang, they barely collided there. Let's see if I can just zip past them. Nope. Oh. Okay, so it did, yeah, it uh, definitely counted that. So that wasn't the issue last time, though we already confirmed what it was. Even though I wasn't on the, like, I didn't actually cross the checkerboard, it still counted that as, a, as me making a lap. Well, I'm in second, so one guy's, like, way up here. Oh, dang. I'm pretty sure I knocked that sign down and it just came came back to bite me there. Oh, I'm in first now. Nice. Oh yeah, some dude, <laughs> that guy behind me is trying to push me out of the way. Barefoot avance sur la pointe des pieds. This is the final lap, people. If I can hold this lead, we'll win. If I can hold this lead, we will win the race. I think five's the final one. Bigfoot come on, come on. on. Yeah, there we go. Gravedigger made it. Yeah, we got the gold trophy. Oh, and there's actual footage. <laughs> Hey, we we did it, guys. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get out of this. All right. So the next item on the list is Microsoft Return to Arcade, which I know that I have played before, and it's on three floppy diskettes here. So we're gonna pop in diskett number one and install it, and we'll we'll play some arcade games. We'll play some Pac-Man. We'll play some Dig Dug because I know that's on here, and this is in English here. So this. You'll probably be able to get to change it to French, although maybe you won't. So again, we'll just do all sevens here. 
And yep, that's a valid key. And we're gonna get all games. Returning now to the world of arcade. Yeah, that logo looks familiar. Yep, Dig Dug. I know there's a racing game too, but I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Pole Position. That's, yeah, this is the one. Oh my gosh, it's been it's been years since I've played Pole Position. So yeah, let's start with Dig Dug, why not? So to start a one-player game, click on one-player game or press F2, okay? It gives you your controls here. So, all right, let's do it. Oh man. <laughs> gosh, it's been so long since I've played this. All right, so my strategy was always save the dragon for like, or get the ones like up here first. We got him. Yeah, because if you don't know what the object of the game is, you have to get all of them, kill all the enemies without them making it to surface and fleeing. Like they're trying to do now. Ah, oh, man. See, and stuff like that happens where one will come behind you. Oh, man. Let him get into my trap here. <laughs> wow, what a trap I set there. I was just looking the wrong way. Oh, man. We got him. All right, we'll do we'll do one more here cuz I definitely want to have time for all the other games. There we go. All right, so that's enough of Dig Dug. Yeah, we're on round four. I think I think that's I think we'll call it there. So we'll close out of it and we'll move on to what's the next one in the list? Galaxian. I definitely preferred Galaga, but Galaxian was still really cool. Oh man, here we go. All right. Definitely been a while since I've played this. Oh no. You have to not move as fast as you do, and oh my gosh, that was close. Holy cow. Oh man. That was still that was incredible. I cannot believe I pulled that off. <laughs> Life left. Oh boy, I don't even think I'm gonna get through the first level here. Oh man. Wow. Let's just do one more here.
think this is farther than I got on the last one. I'm trying to get the top ones here. Ah, oh, man, he got me. All right. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> It's definitely a little more difficult than I remember, but still. Uh, yeah, that's Galaxian. Alright, next up I believe was Pac-Man? Yes, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, of course, needs no introduction. Let's see how far we can get here. We'll just play this until I get killed. Gotta get the cherries. Oh, I missed the cherries, dang it. Oh man, I walked right into that one, that was stupid. I always love when the ghost whirring gets louder. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go, right on time. Dang it. I thought I had enough time there. Well, I'm already down to no more lives. I, I promise I'm better than Pac-Man. I'm better at Pac-Man than this. With that one little corner down there. Oh wow, that was close. Nice. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can last through this one. Oh, man. I got cornered there. Well, there you go, guys. There's Pac-Man. And last but not least, of course, is Pole Position. Here we go. Prepare to qualify. Oh, man. Can I qualify here? Well, I'm hitting... <laughs> hitting the Namco sign is not going to really be good for qualifying. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm going to restart. Alright, let's go. Prepare to qualify. I remember that. <laughs> I love the <laughs> I love the sound effects. Mm 
Oh man, I drove right into that one. Let me get off the grass. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Nice. <laughs> I ran right into. It. Oh gosh. All right, let's be uh, MJD. We can use the keyboard, so that's nice. Game over. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> that's pole position. So we'll we'll close out of that, and that wraps up. Microsoft Return of Arcade. Now, the last item to take a look at is Picture It, which I don't believe is a game at all. I think it's more of a photo editing tool. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It is a photo editing application, or it was. It's no longer in development. You know, I feel like I've mentioned this in passing before, but either way, let's go ahead and check it out. So we'll do that wonderful product ID again. Now, this is in French here. So yeah, we'll just take a brief look at picture it here, and that'll about wrap it up. This video has definitely been on the longer side, but hopefully you guys have found it interesting somewhat. I know that, uh, well, the fact that everything is in French is a bit of a hindrance, but I'm sure the French speakers in the audience are having a laugh at my expense, which is just all right. <laughs> but uh, we'll let it start up here. Oh man. This is already looking like a, like a print shop kind of thing. I saw printers in there. Okay, so let's see if, uh, let's see if we can change this, change the language here. I'm guessing probably not. All right, so do we even have any images on here? Okay, so it brings up a nice browser here. We could do first boot, we could get a uh, cloud. You know what, clouds is such a classic, we're gonna go with that. All right, so open, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So here's all your options over here, so we can add text. Let's uh, just do that here. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's let's just type out Michael M J D. Do we want Comic Sans? Yeah, I think we definitely want Comic Sans. <laughs> so let's get that. I think this is the color. Yeah. So we can change it. Let's make that a beautiful, like neon green here. Okay. And. How do we change the size? Oh, we probably just gotta... Oh, those are nice uh, animations there. Like when you mouse over the cursor that brings up, that's that's pretty cool. So we can make this like kind of large here. Loving the sound effects too. It's kind of giving me a bit of a kid picks vibe. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what is this? Is this asking you to save? Do you want animation on how to use... Oh, how to manage... Oh, this is like a tutorial thing. We'll say no. We don't need tutorials, right? Okay, so this is like a layers thing here. That's neat. So like we can... So this is just the text here. There's also these projects over here. And this is like for making a calendar. Probably like a photo calendar, you know, where you have different backgrounds for each month. And here are a bunch of templates. So let's select, gosh. This is like, this is really cool. Honestly, this might deserve its own video. I, I feel like I just make, <laughs> I make so much work for myself when I do these videos because I just say like, oh, this could be really good. Because I mean, we're already like an hour plus into this video. I mean, at least with the raw recording on the camera. So, I mean, it's going to be shorter for you guys once I edit everything down, but. Um, you know, I just kind of be like, I feel like if I'm going to do a video on just this, I should just do a separate video and just dedicate it entirely to that rather than having it at the tail end of this 50 minute whatever video about Flight Simulator. And then this is where you could probably, yeah, so you can pick an image. So let's do first boot. 
And then, yeah, we have first boot. Oh my gosh. You know what? I just thought of an amazing idea. Making a calendar with Windows setup backgrounds. That is an amazing idea. I feel like I'm going to actually have to do that. But there's so much stuff in here, guys, that I feel like, honestly, this could be an entirely separate video, which is which is funny because that's how this video started anyways, because the flight simulator thing in the original, original video was something I was like, oh, I could do a, a dedicated video on this. And that has now spiraled into another dedicated video, at least the potential for a dedicated video. But you know what, guys? I think we're going to start stop it there we're gonna pump the brakes on this because you know I, I think we've really covered everything we've taken a brief look at all of these programs I mean I know flight simulator was the main focus of this video but for now guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode I hope you all enjoyed this one if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and get subscribed down below turn on those notifications if you haven't already because I upload new videos multiple times every single week on this channel and as always I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video